Okay, we've allowed the uh, material to dry, and we've got our test piece here, and it's uh, hardened. So now we're going to be able to sand this back uh, into the proper shape. Having the masking tape on there uh, will protect the surface from the sandpaper, and we're just going to sand it flush with the masking tape area, and then we'll trim it the rest of the way with a knife. So we'll go ahead and sand this flush, and I like to use a 100 grit, 150 grit sandpaper, something that's pretty aggressive. Um, I'll stop every once in a while and just check and make sure that I haven't worn through the uh, masking tape. You'll notice it powders up quite a bit. Uh, that's a key that the material has dried. Um, if you try to sand it and it gums up on the sandpaper, uh, just stop and allow it to uh, continue to cure until it's uh, properly dried. Okay, we've sanded it down. It's almost flush with the, the masking tape at this point. I'm going to go ahead and pull the masking tape off. You notice there's a little bit of a lip there, uh, which is about the thickness of the masking tape. I'll take a razor knife um, and extend the blade out a little bit, lay the blade flat, cant it up just a little bit, and I can come in and very carefully trim that material, excess material off. I want to be careful not to, to gouge it or go below the surface with it. We do want a nice smooth corner when we're done. Just use a little slicing motion and we can take that right off. Now that's pretty smooth. If we would have taken and tried to sand that smooth, we would have worn into the surface here. I'll go ahead and stand this up on edge and trim the edge of the board. Okay. Now the corner is uh, fairly straight. I need to take a little bit of sandpaper and just sharpen that point a little bit. Real important not to dub the corner or round the corner off. We want a nice sharp corner. 